No, you didn't burn your toast. That's the smell of Nuked London still smoking in the background. We are at Fumbly Stadium, of course, home of the Nuked London Patriots. This town has a lot of history. You got some of the founding fathers of pro wrestling here. Yeah, Slam Adams for one. And he had a wicked neck-crunching pile driver move. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Crux and Skull Jugulars battle the New London Patriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> the paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mute let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions, water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and ten. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Even though he's a big, nasty D lineman, he's still got his hands up for the deflection. Second down and ten. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Second down and six.
Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. hit the quarterback goes down <laughs> third down and long that my friends was an all pro NFL hit And it's first and ten. And that's why they call it the money shot. Second and three. Second down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Markman, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third down and six. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. And it's first and ten. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Two fists into this bottle of scotch. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. And that'll bring up third down and inches. Oh, 
vote on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and ten. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. down and forever and Lynn Katz will give them a first down I don't know if they're his but he sure has a good set of hands and it's first and ten And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty. Would be a first you can jump over those mines or steer clear of them. Third down and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. And he just lets that one go. He says, no thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs, because that was a sonic blast dirty feel like a monkey trying. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned from a halftime show.
And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh, and the defense gives up five yards there. Uh, and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of oh, that's constant, relentless advance. If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and seven. Just got crushed. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks, Matt Stupsy. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Yeah, well, baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here. And these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Brick started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. <laughs> the home 
home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fireballs. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack once today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Yes. Not until he's cooked. I won't even get out of it. Second down and more than the QB would like. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self -dying. But he seems to have worked through it. They're going for two points. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. And it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. It's about a three yard pickup. Third and two. First and ten. Get 
give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. But he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. You go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very long. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Third down and five. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got out. Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. First and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a supersonic missile. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. Yeah, how do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? Yeah. He's bribed, you idiot. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. First and ten. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. And it's first and ten. Second down and nine.
going in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and six. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. First and ten. And he's running like a defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> Second down and a lot. trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Third down and the punter is warming up. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns it on the afterburner. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten.
Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the defense just called the ginormous dirt. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. The 10. Close, but no cigar. First down and six. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second down and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a white for the... The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. Third down and five. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. And coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Mul That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down in a lot. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And a good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? That play had no chance. This baby is over and the fat lady is... The Hatriot put the hit on their opposition and are the victors today. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40-yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...